people come for all kinds of reasons, psycho, spiritual, physical. Sometimes they come not really even knowing why. Any of them are fine. It doesn't really matter to me because it's actually all the same to me. Sometimes I touch people's heads and put my hand on their forehead or something. And it's funny how it seems to facilitate their experience sometimes. But it doesn't change the fact at all that to me, I have nothing to do with it. When someone comes, I'll turn inwardly to a, a place of stillness. The natural result then is there's just this sort of overarching oneness of all things. The, the best description that I have is that, that that sense of undifferentiated oneness here connects with the same there in that other person and sees that it's identical, that it's no different at all that there is no separation in them, that they're not two different things or two different aspects even of the same thing. It's actually all one thing. And if something is complete and one and unbroken, then it's very whole. And in that wholeness, there, there is nothing missing. There's certainly nothing broken. And so there's nothing that needs to be healed or fixed or anything. And what what's so often seems to happen is some sense of that overarching oneness or wholeness ends up experienced in some way by this other person in a way that makes sense to them, in a way that they can accept. And so they have some kind of experience that they often refer to as a healing experience. It's also something that that, that sense of oneness is something that essentially it goes beyond the sense of time and space. And because that, that oneness transcends even that time and space, it opens the possibility that things can arise in a manner that isn't dependent upon time and space. And that's sometimes why what's experienced seems miraculous. So there's really nothing to say about it at all except amen and thank you. <laughs>